being a mother is not a joke being a mother is tough being a mother is patience being a mother is, a, is being a teacher mother is encompasses everything that you can think of hmm? she's the bank she's the caterer she's the cleaner she's the nurse she's the teacher she's the pastor she's everything to her hey guys good afternoon welcome back to my channel it's your girl Buji. how are you guys doing today happy modern sunday today is mother's day in the uk so happy mother's day to every single mother out there grandmothers great grandmothers mothers in waiting sister mothers and all women out there who are nurturing caring providing loving and looking after their children and their loved ones May the Lord keep you and bless you and empower you. We shall not labor in vain. All our labor over our children will never be in vain. We will eat the fruit of our labor. In the name of Jesus. Happy Mother's Day to you all. I salute you all my Wudu fam women. You are great. You are powerful. You are beautiful and you are loved. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you all. So, if this is your first time, welcome. This is Obodo Yibo TV. And if you have not yet subscribed, you've been watching and have not subscribed, please do so. If you hit on the bell sign, you get notification on every single time I post a video. So, well, I'm talking about mothers. Today is Mother's Day, so I'm sharing about mothers today. And I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but it's never too late, right? <laughs> so, this week, we heard that uh, Tonto DK's uh, ex... The new, the sister, the sister wife <laughs> giving birth. You know, she's their brothers and sisters. So the brother and sister gave birth to cousin or nephew. And there was a long post on social media where he was praising God. He was thanking God for the best gift he made two years ago to marry her and all whatnot. I'm not going to bore you guys by reading it because that's not the whole, this is not the cocoa of the story. And she in turn posted her new a SUV that he apparently bought for her as a push present mm -hmm. on social media thanking Churchill for being a kind man, a generous man and all that good stuff. Nothing wrong in it. But when I saw the post, I think it was one of you who followed me on Instagram <laughs> and sent it to me. <laughs> ah, Ninja. When she sent it to me, I opened it and I saw that the baby is called King. Ah, I said... <laughs> <laughs> These people go kill me. See, guys, if you want to laugh, eh, if you're having a bad day, you want to laugh, just go to Instagram. You will laugh, eh? You will always see something that is so incredibly funny. I said, the ah, ah. so I said to the to the young lady who sent it to me, I said, ah, the baby is called King, King Churchill again. How many kings do we have? <laughs> ah, Tonto DK is a king. She calls herself a king. She says she's King Tonto. Tonto DK's son, Andre, is king. As well. Now another king. How many king are in this kingdom? <laughs> Somebody said in the comment section that yeah, it's, a, it, it, it's, 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 a, it's a tale of three kings without a kingdom. Oh my god, I couldn't stop laughing. But seriously, talking seriously though, I was thinking why would Churchill and his new wife call their baby king? Knowing that this is the name that Tonto DK calls herself and calls her son. It seems to me that they are just golding this girl, trying to get her reaction. Remember when uh, the, the news broke um, that they are married now, that uh, Toto never said, she didn't say anything. She never reacted to this. And the funny thing about all, all this is that anytime the media or social media, gossip media, whatever you want to call it, blogs want to talk about uh, Churchill, they always say, to DK's ex. Her name always comes in because she's the one that's the celebrity. Remember, before Tonto, nobody knew who Olakunle Chochi was. So, it is incidental or uh, will I say it is kind of uh, ironic that they've chosen to call their new baby baby boy King, King Olakunle Chochi. I'm like, hmm, these people are really looking for Tonto. If it's the Tonto DK of those days, ha! This time last year, if they try something like this, she will be all over social media. She will be ranting and bashing them and calling them out and calling them fake copycat and everything. But she's involved, which is a really, really good thing. And everybody is just praising her, hailing her, you know that she's in a good place now. She doesn't react to all any negative 
things said about her, whatever you write about her. Especially mm -hmm. when it relates to church, it's like, she's, she doesn't even see it. It's like, and I know she's seen it because if you go on, on, on blogs, on Instagram and all other social media platforms, the news is there. They're always sharing about how, uh, whatever is going on in, in, in church's life. And they still manage to bring her name into it. I'm like, okay, these guys are really, really pushing it now. They are pushing it because Tonto has ignored them. They came out declaring their love for each other. Now they are husband and wife. Remember, they were brother and sister. Now they are husband and wife. Brother and, um, uh, brother and sister that got married and became husband and wife. She didn't see anything. Now you went to have a baby and you decide to name the, the baby. <laughs> you decide to name the baby King. Ah. Uh, Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. I'm like, okay, okay, yeah. okay. My people, now they can't call the king. Say, now nah, king go, another king go. So, now nah, three kings go. Now they for their family now and their, their empire. I don't know what that is all about. But um, it's all good. At the end of the day, relationship come and go. They've had their own run. With their own relationship and um it didn't work his uh, church is with another another woman now and they seem happy but I, I just wish they would leave just try not to draw attention to themselves so much and you might say how are they drawing attention to themselves they are drawing attention to themselves because they keep trying to you know bring tonto into their conversation or with whatever is happening in their life because don't forget that these people we're not no, they are not celebrity in the same level that Tonto is, you know. So I don't think it's fair that the woman is trying to move on, and she's trying to look after her child. And according to what Tonto was saying, remember when Tonto changed the name of that boy, her son, she changed the name to to her father's name, DK. I was one of the people that criticized that. I said, I don't think it's necessary because well, even if your marriage failed, the boy was fathered by someone, and he has not denied paternity. So I don't think it is necessary. To change the name. A lot of you came on on my on that video and said, "Oh, in Ibo land, uh, if a father is not uh, is not uh, performing his responsibility, the woman, the family has the right to change the name to the father's name. If you change the name to the father's name, does it mean that it's Tonto's father that is the boy's father? No, it doesn't. And to me, I don't know. The way I see it is that the boy will grow up one day and will ask, "Who is my father?" You know, he will ask questions about his paternity. Who is my father? So I don't know. Sometimes when people are hurt, they do things that upon reflection, they will feel like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have, you know, gone on that route. I shouldn't have done that. But this is my own personal feeling about it, that she should not have changed the name. But she did. It's her life. It's her son. She changed the boy's name to DK, which is her father's name. So, I, but Tonto also said that the uh, church here was not looking after the boy like it wasn't because i remember when the boy the boy recently celebrated his fifth birthday and she wrote on her page that he wasn't that she's the one solely that is responsible for the upkeep of the boy financially she's the only one that does things fees feeding clothing everything is done by her you know i in my thinking is that because their divorce was so messy and ugly and bitter and because she's changed the boy's name and say you know cut up probably cut up all communication from churchy that's why he's not you know being financially involved but i think he should still look after the boy because at the end of the day he's, he, 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 the boy is his son i mean they spent about is it two years they spent together before their the marriage ended so he should still look after that boy because <clears throat> this is life blood is thicker than water a name cannot change paternity. The only thing, I don't think anything can change paternity. The only thing that can change paternity is DNA. So I don't think Tonto should do that. But she has done it. So my point is that, okay, we are happy for them. They are happy. They are married. They are lovey-dovey and all that. Their life is okay now. It's perfect now. But you don't need to rub it in. There's no point rubbing it in because it seems to me like they are seriously rubbing it. They are seriously rubbing it to you know my people otherwise why would you go and have a child apparently the boy was born in switzerland you know and you chose of all names in this world that is king you want to name the boy eh knowing that your ex that is the name she's she she she, she calls herself and she wants to be recognized but if you go to her page you'll see king toto that's what she calls herself king toto her son is king then you name your own child king Haba. 
this is just i don't know there's a lot of immaturity involved a lot of um you know see me now this is where i am now which i think i don't know it's, it's not necessary as far as i'm concerned anyway i'm just gonna leave it here today is about uh, the three kings the tale of the three kings <laughs> before i end i am still just gonna wish all my lovely obodo farm women out there mothers grandmothers and every single one who is desiring who desires um, to be a mother now or in the future a very happy happy mother's day being a mother is not a joke being a mother is tough being a mother is patience being a mother is, a, is being a teacher being a mother <laughs> is being oh my god what can, how can i compare a mother a mother is encompasses everything that you can think of hmm? she's the bank she's the caterer she's the cleaner she's the nurse she's the teacher she's the pastor she's everything to her child and yeah all of you are there I hope you enjoy your Mother's Day and you are celebrated by your loved ones, your children. I got uh, this morning, my people got me flowers and a card and um, a, a bottle of drink. I didn't get perfume today, but I got a drink. So I appreciate that. The words in the card, important to me, very, very important. I love cards. So yeah, happy Mother's Day. And uh, yeah, this week, watch out, loads of interesting topics coming up on obodo Ibo tv and i will speak to you in my next video thanks a lot for watching i love you bye, -bye.